Hi guys, how's it going? Hey, look, here we are, Willy One Glove, and all the wise cracks about Michael Jackson. But at least it's blue. Actually, it looks it looks green on the screen, but it, it's blue. It's a blue glove. Did you see the boys? Historic treble. Only two clubs football have ever done that, and City's one of them. Hey, there you go. But anyway, that's enough gloating for now. I've got a shave on. Bit subdued. Thumbelina has been hurting. It really, really has. I found work today. I found work today and the boss said, how are you doing? I said, okay. I said, but every time um, I need a shower, I said, I've got to put a rubber glove on. I said, and every time I put the rubber glove on, it starts throbbing. Uh, and he, he shouted uh, he, over the phone in an office full of people. What? Every time you put the rubber glove on, it starts throbbing. Mm, go, you should have told me that. You can hear them all laughing. So if you watch this, guys, thank you for that, James. But anyway, oh, Michael Jackson I've had as well. Uh, and just on that note, do you all know what Michael Jackson's preferred pronouns are? <laughs> oh, come on, enough, enough. You've seen by the thumbnail, we've got a good one today. I've not got the tablet to show you and um, explain to you what the stuff is because the star of the show, the pièce de résistance, I don't know why I call it that, the star of the show here, K-Shave Works. Oh, man. Oh, my word. Do you know what that smells like? That's a beautiful, lovely lime citrus. It's still, all the years I've had that. Uh, let me show you. Look, there was a label on there. Can you see? Uh, I bought it from Pastors. Because if you're new to the channel, you subscribe. I don't know. I don't normally mention it because I don't like to brag, but I've actually been to Pastors Pharmacy in New York. And I bought this there. To me, guys, it smells like lime bubblegum. Lime bubblegum. We call it bubblegum over here uh, in the States or other parts. So you could probably just call it gum. But you could, if you could get flavoured gum, and we could over here. That's what it's, we used to go, there would be machines outside the shops and you would drop five pence in and turn it and wee! Little bubble gums would drop out, five or six of them, and they'd be all different flavours. That smells exactly like the taste of the lime one. Absolutely beautiful, fresh. Fresh bubble gum lime scent. With just something else in there I can't make out. Scent strength, I would put about five. It's always been five since I got it. It's never diminished. And I've had that years. Good quality so They went out of business and I couldn't find anything. Um, so I was a bit sad about that. Scouse Ian gifted me this. I still can't believe it. He gifted the stuff he gifted me, that man. Absolute astounding generosity. Martin de Condre. Eau de Cologne. Limette. Now, I know in Australia that, that it's a woman's name. But here... Here, here in Europe, <laughs> in slime. Oh, I'll have Laurie now. John, you're flying and galah. Sorry, Laurie. That rhyme's done it, love. And I got, I found a lime balm. Look, a lime balm. There you go. Uh, Simpsons, the maker of the brush, Simpsons. They do a lime shaving cream, which I've got, and I got the lime balm with it. And that's that uh, brush. I've not showed you the brush. Here it is, look. A brush that's affectionately been named after me. I think, the, the Hulk. That's AP Shave Co, 24 millimeter cashmere, that's soft. AP Shave Co, cashmere knots, guys. If you've got any skin issues at all or sensitivities, these are the brushes to go because that is without doubt the softest knot I've ever encountered in my life. And yet the backbone is just spot on. There you go, affectionately known as the Hulk. I think it's the physique, you know, because I like resemble Luferino. We'll put that in the official John Shave Super Soaker. I've not done the red. Here we go, look. I've not used this for so long and I've seen another wet shaver using it. I can't remember who it was. It may have been Ken, uh, Ken Surfs, it may have been. But I've seen somebody else use it and I thought, do you know, I've not used mine for a while. So I got it out, the McCur 34 HD. That's what I do, you see. When I get ideas off people, I come in here and I give them credit for it. I don't just assume. There you go, Gillette 7 o'clock. These are sharp blades, these guys. They really, really are. Uh, yeah, so we'll stick that. We'll stick that in there. 
<laughs> I just very, very nearly cut on that thumb there. The exact same. Oh, can you imagine how on earth would I have explained that to work? I went to the nurse yesterday. And I'll let you know what she said throughout the show. Wow, you can feel that. Get on there. Now, I've put such a sharp blade in here. I should have put a car, really. I've put just ever such a slight overhang. Can you see that? Um, because this is very mild. This is an exceptionally engineered razor. But the older I get, I think the closer my beard's getting, it is very, very mild. Probably why I've not used it. So, come on. Oh, my word. It just doesn't feel right. Wetting my face with a rubber glove on. Oh man. I'm saying, I'm saying no more. Here we go. I bought this at Pasteur's. I think it was the very first time I went. Uh, must have been about what? What was that? Must, must have been 2016. Was this soap out then? Do you know better? There you go. And look. Look. Look at this. Hey, seconds, guys. K Shave Works. It's so sad that they went out of business. I'd like to see them. You know, there was an artisan out there years ago. And who were they? What were they called now? And they used to just, every every two or three months, they'd just make a hundred sorts and sell them. And that was it. And I just can't remember the name of them. I'd like to see K, K Shave Works do something like that. But have a look at this. Have a look at this. I mean, camera doesn't lie, does it? Look at that, guys. And I've had this and used this for years in my rotation. Mmm. Oh, I would say. Mmm. For me, it doesn't diminish. Mmm. Oh, it's wonderful. Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful soap. I'll put that down there. I can't, uh, let's try. Yeah, it's slick, guys. It's slick. So, yes. Update on Thumbelina. I, uh, I went to the, see the district nurse yesterday. And, uh, I mean, I'm sure they're not better than me. I was quite disappointed, actually. Because they took the dressing off. And it had the biggest clump. The biggest clump of semi-soft, moist blood. Like a giant blood clot. I don't wish to turn anybody's stomach. Right on the tip of it. And she said to me, are you allergic to iodine? I said, no. So they got a bandage dipped in iodine and rebandaged it up and said come back next week so I said to her me thinking I was being melodramatic I said to her I actually said that I said at the risk of sounding a bit melodramatic how will I go on for work she said what do you do I said well for the most part I'm a delivery driver I deliver heavy she went no no, not a chance, she went, certainly not this week. So that was that. So I phoned and had a conversation with my boss, my manager. Actually, my manager's manager. Uh, and he said to me, um, this was my idea. I said, I don't really want to have another sickness because I had a couple of weeks off with COVID earlier in the year. He hit me like a train. I said, I don't want another sickness absence. I have got a week's holiday that I was saving for winter time. But I was toying with the idea of having it this month instead. I said, so if it's okay with you, can I put a holiday request in for this week and have it as a holiday? And he said, yes, of course you can. You're an absolute legend. We're all absolutely devastated. The guys in the warehouse have been crying. The customers have been crying. Everyone's been upset. 
that you're having to have a week off. But um, I'll reassure them. We'll see you. We'll see you on Monday. Oh my word. But yeah, so that's where we're at. So a wee bit subdued because like they put this glove on now it is. It is throbbing. It's pulsating and then I'll put it on again after to go in the shower. Oh. And I have to have a shower one handed because I use shower gel but I also use a bath bar. I would clean myself all over with a bar of salt. I've got like a, a shampoo and body wash bar. Uh, and then I, I clean myself all over with that. And then I'll put the shower gel on. Rinse the shower gel off, hop out. Uh, and I've tried not using a bar of soap this one, but I just don't feel clean. I, it's weird. I don't. Anyway, in the shower the other day with this, couldn't hold the soap in the. <laughs> Pass the soap from one hand to the other. It went up and then wee wee, and I'm trying to catch it. And wish wish. Do you know reflex action? And I grabbed it, banged it, and I stood in the shower, floods of tears. I'll tell you what, it's about the size of a penny, that cut, but what, oh, you do not realise how much you need your thumb until you haven't got it. So that's where I'm at. So, I was going to say, you know, because I've been off work, I mean, I am not used to having time off work. Because I've been off work, I almost said to you, what's your slurp of the day? Boom. As much as I feel like drowning my sorrows. Mine has been water. And we get little sachets, I don't know if you get them where you are or you've heard of them. If you're in the United Kingdom, check them out. The little sachets about the size of a cheese string and they're called Vidrate and they're all different flavours and you just put a sachet in your bottle of water um, and it's like minerals and salts and so on and it helps to rehydrate your body so I've been drinking that's been my slurp of the day hey my co 34 c is doing very well uh, a lot better than I remember it doing It's just, you know, even stuff you only need one hand for, when you've only got one, it's, it's a, a weird... A weird sensation. I was just waiting for a load of videos. Yeah, we're, we're taking part in this new time. <laughs> Shave wearing a surgical glove. But, uh... <laughs> there you go, yeah. Yeah, you see. A very gentle lather mittens. Look at that. See, I can't, you can't feel anything. But I do that now. Yeah. Yeah, the usual suspects. And um, it, it's not been as close as I'm getting used to, guys. It, it, it isn't. Maybe I'll try this again soon with a Kai blade. Because. I do know Kai blades are a hair's width wider than your average blade, aren't they? So it may be all that's needed just to take that up into the level needed to get a decent shave. Well, I actually, no, I've got a decent shave. I just, I think with some of the, the razors that I've got are such good quality and so aggressive. And I do like an aggressive razor. I think I'm used to virtually BBS on the first pass. Uh, but there you go, what do you think? Hmm? Oh, we did okay, didn't we? <laughs> we did, we did okay. Um, come on, we'll put MDC, a little cap there, look. So I can't, there. Uh, you know, so you can't, it can't be depressed when it's in the box or something. Here we go. 
Oh. Oh my word, that, you know. Mm. Do you know it's Martin de Condre? And it's very expensive. And it's top notch stuff. Thank you very much, Scousian. Scousian gifted me that. Uh, but <laughs> here's the commoner in me. It smells like sherbet limes. Sherbet lemons, when we were children, we used to get little hard candies and they had sherbet inside and they were shaped like a lemon and they were yellow like a lemon and they had lemon sherbet sugar candy inside they were called sherbet lemons that smells like sherbet lemons guys here you go lime balm oh my word can you believe oh yeah oh yeah you know that that alexander simpson is really good stuff oh Oh, there you go. Rinse off the old hands. Get ready for the linker, Shalene. We're almost done. I'm just not myself, guys. It's horrible. Um, there you go. We knocked one out, though, didn't we? Check this out. We did okay, didn't we, guys? We did okay. It's hot out there. I'm crabby. That's pulsating. <laughs> But we got a good shave, didn't we? Look after yourselves and each other. And thanks to everybody for all the well wishes on the last video. And I will see you on Saturday. Actually, it may be Sunday because it's Father's Day. And I've got something really special lined up. Take it easy, guys. Bye.